Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. With the new release of macOS Big Sur, we thought we would take another look at Apple's Photos application. Now, storing and editing your photos across all of your devices in your life is something that has generated a lot of opinions and workflows for how to do this with various products and solutions available for you to choose from. Apple Photos is one of those solutions, and it provides one of the most simple and low-friction options for handling all of these tasks. In this screencast, we'll do an overview of the application and its various features and take a look at some of the ways that you can work with your own photos. Okay, so what we're going to do is launch photos for the first time. And so this is the photos application with no photos in it. And you can see we've got the familiar sidebar. We've got the area in here where we would view our photos. And then along the top, we have a toolbar, which also has a search on the end of it. And so that's the basics of the interface. And you can see it says, welcome to photos. And then it gives various ways to import things into photos, either a camera with a memory card, drag photos directly into photos, choose import from the file menu, or turn on iCloud photos in preferences. So what I'm going to do is show you how this works, but I wanted to show you the interface as if you launched it for the first time so you knew what to expect. And so what you would do from here then is start to import your photos. What I'm going to do is go ahead and quit out of here. And then I'm going to show you when you launch photos what it looks like if you hold down option. And you get this choose library window. And as you can see, I've got a number of libraries there to choose from. These are libraries I've had previously. And so this is the one I was using that was brand new. And so I'm going to choose this one right here. Notice that this one says System Photo Library, and that's the one that is located right now on my Mac. This one's located on another drive. And if I just select it, you can see where this is located. This is under my user SEO, and this one is on an external volume. So let's go ahead and select this one right here. I'm going to say Choose Library. And so this now is the Photos application with a library that already has photos inside of it. And so what I'm going to do is use this uh, library here to walk you through the process of all of the different features that are available in the Photos application. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.